I had to start today's discussion video talking about this horrendous offer in the shop. This might actually be one of the worst offers of all time in the game. So as you guys can see, it says book sale and it's a book of books, one book of books for $20. That is literally all you're getting. And then they have the nerve to say it is 10 times value too, indicating that it's worth $200. That's not even the worst part of this all. Right before this was in the shop, one of the community managers said they weren't going to be putting books of books in the shop anymore. And the next thing you know, this is in the shop. I'll show you guys that in just a minute. And on top of that, if you guys recall correctly, inside of the Pass Royale, which literally costed $5, the Pass Royale used to cost $5 and that had a book of books in it. On top of that, there were offers you could buy with the book of books and you would maybe get gold or gems with it. And I'll show you guys some of those too. Some people posted screenshots of that on Twitter and other places. The community went completely bonkers when seeing this offer. It's probably the most outrage, disappointment, just overall confusion I have ever seen from an offer inside of the game because this is honestly just a new low for the game. Like we've known the offers have been bad, but this is just kind of disrespectful at this point to the players. And it's really just sad to see. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about more. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a few posts having to do with the offer in the shop. So the first is from Riley, who's a really big YouTuber in the community. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of him where he said Clash Royale community manager, and he said in quotes, they aren't coming anytime soon. He's referring to the book of books in the shop and then Clash Royale 10 times value. He posted this on his YouTube community tab. Honestly, huge respect to him because you could argue it's a little risky because he's basically bashing the community manager. I guess maybe I'm kind of doing the same in this video. So we're both taking a little bit of a risk. But anyway, you can see here and I'll show you guys the tweets too to confirm this is legit. The community manager Oku said, so this guy said to Oku, hey Oku, when can book a books card boost potions come back to the game? And then Oku replied and said, they are not coming to the shop anytime soon, but in another way, stay tuned. Not coming to the shop anytime soon. That's the key thing you want to pay attention to. I'm going to pull it up on Twitter again briefly because there's another aspect of it I want to show you guys because the community manager actually replied something else to it. So it's like I said, they asked when it's coming back to the game. And then remember, she said they are not coming back to the shop anytime soon. And then like I already said, it ended up being in the shop. But you can see she's asking here, how come Oku? So she's like basically playing or making a joke on like what she said because how she like said something and then it ended up not being true. And then she's like, sorry, you know, I missed this one. It is still coming in another way as well. So there is an update coming to the game and maybe that's the another way she's talking about. The update is coming March 18th. I'll talk about that in a couple mini, uh, minutes, some brief information there. But the point is she is apologizing for making a mistake, indicating the community managers, there seems to be a big disconnect from them and the people that put these offers in the shop, which I believe is another big problem in this game right now. I believe it is something that the community manager should be aware of, and it's not necessarily the community manager's fault. I just think that miscommunication is something that should be addressed so stuff like this doesn't happen again in the future. But yeah, you guys get the idea. There's been so many pros and content creators making tweets talking about this, like Morton here saying, I hope that this is a joke. Just tons of people getting loads of likes and stuff on tweets. Like I could just go on and on showing you tons of them. But what I'm going to do instead, one of the final things I'm going to show you having to do with this offer. I like how this guy joked and said inflation. So one of the last things I'm going to do is show you guys previous offers they have had that had book of books in them that were just significantly better value than this. So that is why I don't even know why they put this offer in the shop in the first place. All right. So this is probably one of the last posts I'm going to show having to do with this offer. I could rant about this for a long time, but it's probably, it gets to a point where it's just not worth it. You guys get the idea, but I just have to specifically show you guys this. So yeah, like he said, Luminary said here, 10 times value. And I saw him and other people include this screenshot in their tweet showing previous offers with the book of books. Look at this $3 for one book of book and you're getting 75,000 gold too, all for $3. And then look on the right here, $6 and you're getting two book of books. It's like, wow, like these are incredible deals, 250,000 gold. But no, now they put in the shop 20 bucks 
for one book of book. And by the way, it wasn't an accident because at this point, if it was an accident, they would have taken it out of the shop by now. And the community manager said too, they weren't going to put it in the shop anymore. There's miscommunication there. And if it was a mistake and that wasn't meant to happen, then why wasn't it taken out of the shop by now? I just, I don't even know what to say. It's just baffling to me. And I think this offer is just straight up disrespectful, which is why everyone is pissed. Please do not buy this offer. I feel bad for anyone who bought this offer and thought it was a good deal because this is probably one of the worst offers of all time. It might even be the worst. Now, with that being said, let's see what's been going on inside of Clash Rail Reddit. So the top post of the week is the credit card is in S tier and then every other card is in D tier. I swear that credit card joke inside of Clash Rail has been pretty much in this game since the game came out and it never seems to die. Here we are like six, seven years later and people are still making jokes about how the credit card is the best card in the game. Oh, hey, we were just talking about this. Is this worth it, fellas? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say it looks like it is. It looks like a good deal to me. What's the point of this exactly? Oh, he's talking about the tower troop chest. Yeah, there was another post on Reddit talking about this the other day too, how it just doesn't help you at all. Like you open the chest, you're only getting 10 tower princesses and you only get them one in every seven games, I believe it is. So it takes forever to actually level up your tower cards with them, especially the cannoneer. So I think the reason is to incentivize people to buy them in the shop because they know it's going to take forever to get them from the chest. So, Ooh, this is pretty cool. We got kind of some artwork over here. So this is like they're playing Clash Rail in real time, like as if it's an actual card game, which is why they put that in the caption. You can see the people holding the cards here, like the archers, the rage, the arrows, the hog. And it's like you're literally placing it down to play them on a board like this. This would be pretty cool if this is possible, if it would be possible to have a board game or a card game, excuse me, like this in real life. I don't know if that would be very realistic though, or if it would ever happen, but it definitely looks pretty cool. Oh, we got another offer here. I don't even know what to say. I mean, as bad as this offer looks, like as goofy as it looks, this is way better than the book of books one. That's for sure. 15 times value. I mean, in comparison to the book, yeah, it might actually be. <laughs> Remember when Supercell posted this image and everyone wanted the elixir golem to be added to the game? Oh yeah, that guy on the 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 middle on the right there. I forget where this even was. I believe it was an April Fool's joke or something. I forget if it was maybe Molt and Knight who did a video on it together or something, but it was some image circulating, I believe, as an April Fool's joke, and then it turns out we actually get that elixir golem, which we all thought was just a prank, so that's pretty interesting to think about. This guy's asking, coming when? Let's see what this is. The card mastery. Oh yeah, that coming soon thing has been there for so long. I wonder when they're actually going to add that third feature in the game or whatever the next tier is or things you have to complete. That's kind of a good question. Well, I guess with that, we'll uh, wrap up the video here. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. A lot of you guys have been asking when the next stream is going to be. Maybe you guys are asking coming when, kind of like this guy. Uh, I'm planning on streaming actually tomorrow, pushing ultimate champion. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to stop by.